What's going on everyone? Donovan here. Welcome back to the show. And really, welcome back to the show. I have not been on for a while. I think about two months that I've uh, been kind of off the air and just, just started with 4th of July, just taking a break, spending time with family, and then it turned into something else where I had to take a break. So I'm glad to be back and welcome to my show. If you're new here, I share about my thoughts, uh, life pages, and poetry and uh, reactions as well so welcome if you like the content please like comment subscribe all right guys getting back to business here what's been going on with me well i've just been feeling a lot of weight lately uh, not just in my stomach but just uh god just a lot of weight it started with uh this fourth of july spending time with family and and I had some great time with family, uh, and I'll, I'll share some moments with that about that uh, later on, kind of catching up to speed on things. But I wanted to share this, talk about this subject today, because um, I don't know about you, but just with the economic pressure, with uh, political pressure, with just everyday pressure of things you feel this weight and that's what I was feeling just the weight of stress lately just with everything uh taking a break and spending time with family and then a lot of things hit me and just having time to sort that out and and press back up against it so in today's video uh, I just want to talk about the weight of stress and hopefully share some things with you that will encourage you and um Definitely they've encouraged me, but that will encourage you as well. All right, when we think about the way to stress, I know two areas I really think about, and one is the most important, and that's your own personal life. Uh, just with how you have to deal with things emotionally, physically, financially, mentally, all the leads in there, you have to deal with them. and all that you have to deal with within yourself and then bringing it out into just stepping outside your door you've already got this this kind of this private this personal area of your life where you you have to deal with things before you step out the door to address the public and the world and society so really getting yourself in order personally and handling stress is is vital and I think one of the, the top things I think about on a day-to-day -day is our emotional state how we respond to things um, it's a world of difference and yeah we can get into mental because that is a part of it we can get into physical and financial because all that all equals into it but emotionally how are you going to respond to things uh, within yourself uh, when you feel like it's it's you against other people or they're against you, how are you going to respond to those things personally? Is your response going to be anger and lashing out? Or is it going to be anger, taking the time to discern things and acting accordingly? What's it going to be personally for you, how you handle stress? And of course, we can go on to the financial, you know, taking steps to ease your stress financially. Uh, mental just doing things to oh my gosh take a break take a breather you know I think in today's society that we act like we can't take a break we can't take a breather we can't uh, get some air take a walk not everything is moving so fast that you can't get a break and I think a lot of times we don't give ourselves the grace we don't give ourselves a break in day-to-day -day actions personally we go on from one thing to another to another to another without sorting things out um, and it piles up the, the stress piles up on us we got to stop doing that guys to really just take the opportunity to take a break take a breather now of course when you are managing your own stress um, a man is a blessing but it also means you're going to help manage some other people's stress as well as you walk outside that door of your of your life personally 
Um, just like you walk outside the door of your home into the world, society, other people's lives, you're going to walk outside the door and have to deal with other responsibilities when it comes to taking care of other people, whether you're a caretaker or just family, close friends, things like that. You have to take the time to learn how to deal with them in a, in a less stressful way as possible because you know how even family outings can be, they can start off with the most love, but then some tension starts because someone personally isn't managing the stress that they're dealing with, and so it clashes against yours. It's that pressure, that weight against you, and you have nothing to do with it, but you have to learn how to push back against it. So with dealing with friends and family, with the world, society, everyone has their own ways they deal with stress, whether good or bad. You have to go out again into the world and fight against that. Whether some people are on your side, some people agree with you or not, you still have to go out into the world and deal with that. So what do I mean by that? Of course, I mean other people's opinions, other people's lifestyles. Uh, other people can be having a bad day and decide to give you the finger. They can have a bad day and decide to cuss you out. But like I said, personally, how you build up your resistance against stress is how you can fight against them and not physically fight them, but to really be on your guard mentally, physically, emotionally, and all that against them and how they're feeling. And in a good way, it can help brighten up their day because if you're on top of your game fighting against stress, they see you and they want to imitate that, hopefully. Now, one of the big things I, I believe, and I know some people can think otherwise, but I definitely believe that God is the source of relieving our stress. I think about two scriptures, actually. Uh, one is Matthew eleven twenty-eight 28 to 30, where Jesus talks about taking on his yoke. You know, putting aside any anything else and, and, and taking on his yoke. God wants us to take on his yoke. And I think about the things that he wants us to think about versus things we want to think about are the most important. And when we really take on God's yoke and things and really take that on with understanding and, and, and how it helps us, that's a big difference. Another scripture I think about is Philippians 4. Not, uh, I believe it's 4. To nine, we're just just praying, getting up all your anxiety, all the stress off to God, and that He'll give you a peace of understanding. Now, will it be peace? Will it be silence? Uh, no, but will it be silence among the chaos? Will it be a a, a source of, of of just calmness among the chaos? Yes, I've witnessed it. I I enjoy it, and you can have the same thing. So, those are two scriptures I share with you, but I'm going to break down some practicals because, you know, some of you can hear those two and you know exactly what I'm talking about, but others can be like, eh, I don't know. So, I'm going to give you some practicals. I think some practicals in relieving the stress is really to um, do your research. I mean, think about who you are what you're up against, what seems to come up against you, and how you can combat that. Now, like I shared before, I look at the ways of God, okay, but I also look at myself, and what are some, what are some ways that I can relieve stress? I can take a breather, I can go for a walk, I can get away to the movies, I can spend time with uh, my wife, I can just do uh, some things that are, are great stress relievers, I can play a game, I can uh, go on vacation, walk among nature, uh, pray. There's so many things you can learn how to do within doing research. But I want to caution you though, in doing research and learning wisdom and understanding, you're going to try out all these things. All these things that can be good for you, all these things can be bad for you. And I think you're all of us are, are at the age to know that what good and bad is. So 
if you decide to release stress by lighting up a joint that's on you but that has consequences if you release stress by going to a quiet place in prayer you know the consequences or actually you know the benefits of that it's not really consequences it's benefits of that so you want to think about what avenue are you going to go down is this stress this relief of stress going to cause me consequences or is it going to bring me relief and now relief in a sense isn't total peace uh, as the world puts it it is in a way a calmness and just moving through the situation without wrecking your brain so in doing research you got to figure out like i said what works best for you what works best for your family as for you and your household what works best for you then when you go outside the door okay how am i gonna with god fight up against that way up against what the world tells me to do, what the world thinks I should do, what this person or that person, how am I going to conduct myself in this situation and that situation? So that's what I mean by just having, in the weight of stress, just having resistance to push up against it with God's self, of course, and with knowing you. Number two um, is just get to conviction, have the conviction utilize the conviction have conviction when you do the research and you say okay this is something that that's working for me look further into it like i said before that it can it can be a good thing at that point and then it can be a bad thing later on you want to make sure that what you what you get into to help relieve your stress it's not something that's going to be damaging to you down the line you want something that's going to help you out that's why i suggested just with God, we're having the understanding, uh, wisdom through what we test out, we find out what works for us. We have conviction and we keep going in that conviction. And a third thing I say is follow through. Follow through with the conviction you've, you've gathered is that you follow through with it and you stand on it. You stand on it. Summing up guys, those are the points I believe that will help you with stress. The weight against it is that you do the research, you have conviction, and you follow through. And with God's help, it give you a victory every day to overcome and move through things in your life. That's my video for today guys. I'm back on the case, so you'll be getting a lot of videos soon. Um, I gotta catch up the videos that um I meant to put out in July. I will put out soon. But guys, I hope you're getting ready. I hope you're enjoying, still enjoying your summer as we're almost approaching. <laughs> we're almost approaching Labor Day here. But um, that's my video for today, guys. Down and out. Peace.